All right, here we go. I've been avoiding this one for a while, boys. Today, we're going to be doing the Voyage of Despair Gauntlet, but on hard mode, meaning there's going to be extra challenges per round. I already know that this is going to be miserable. If I take any damage, by the way, in this first round, I just lose. So I'm being like extra cautious right now as I almost get hit. But yeah, okay. So this is notorious for being the single hardest one in the game. It's the only hard gauntlet that Treyarch made as far as like the it's labeled hard they're all a little bit difficult let's be honest but this one is extra 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 hard i'm not exactly 100 sure why this is the only hard one they decided to make probably just because they ran out of time and or you know would rather put time and resources into other things but yeah so i already have a strong strong feeling that this is not going to end well whatsoever use melee attacks damage from zombies so if i take any damage the, the, the round ends oh no dude okay so yeah so basically what i'm saying is this video is going to have a disappointing ending the ending of this video will not be satisfying i can promise you that i think if i could hit like round 20 i would call that a success to be honest okay oh my god i'm scared yeah but what makes this so hard is using melee attacks only would be a, like a, a challenge in itself on one of the other maps but on this they also add the don't take damage every round pretty much has like two different things that you have to do this one is survive round of sprinting zombies with at least one perk active unfortunately i could kind of screwed myself over because mule kick is my spawn perk and i'm not gonna lie i don't really want mule kick at this point in my life so i'm gonna just kind of get the map opened a little bit grab the parts uh, how much is oh that's 3k okay oh my god okay i need to be careful oh my god dude they, they are really sprinting this is not something i'm used to dealing with on round four i'm gonna be completely real with you i'm kind of scared i'm kind of frightened for my life okay let's just let's just throw Oh, I didn't know they could spawn next to me. Oh, God. What? Oh, I didn't buy the perk. I didn't buy the perk. I'm so dumb. I was literally running to grab it. Oh, that is a really, really bad skull. I'm going to go ahead and just pretend like it didn't happen there. Come on, give me something good, please. Oh, good, good, good. This is a good assault rifle. Okay, I can finish this with one skull. I can go the rest of the way on hard gauntlet mode with only two more lives. If you don't believe I can, then you're a hater. Let's just be honest. Okay, what is this next one? Use SX, use the SX, miss shots, damage players, regen disabled. Okay, that's actually really bad. But you see, there's like literally three different challenges for this round. Like, why? <laughs> why is it so hard? This challenge is definitely not for the faint of heart. Okay, I just gotta make sure that I don't get hit by like actual zombies. You know, like I I feel like, oh my God. I wonder how much damage I take if I miss a shot. I feel like it's probably a lot. I Okay, it's 50, there we go. At least now I know. That means I can only miss two more. And that's, a, that's assuming that I don't, oh my God, dude. That's assuming that I don't get hit. Oh my, I, I went for the no scope. That's a risky play out here. Oh no. Oh my God, dude, get away from me. Stanky. I guess I should have hit the aim trainer before starting this zombies matchup. I didn't think I was going to need like precision aim to play zombies. Now, if you just take your time, it's fine. At least all the zombies are walking this round. Activate sentinel artifact and finish the round within the time limit. All right. Oh, hello? What? Hello? Bro, <laughs> what? My, my game just glitched out. What was that? <laughs> my character just had like a really bad muscle spasm, apparently. Okay, this is honestly probably the easiest challenge of the whole game. Just gotta come up here, slap that, and we're good. Possess shield at end of round. Sprinting zombies do double damage. Okay, that's a little bit frightening. I should probably have already had the shield parts. I should have planned for this. I'm scared of these sprinting zombies. I don't know where they are. But I'm scared of him. Where's the shield part at? Oh no, it was in the top location. I didn't check it. Honestly, my main concern at this point is not ending the round. You know, since I got forced down here, let's just go for stamina. Oh, it was here. I swear I checked there earlier. Grab this and that. Okay, all buys are disabled. Weapon fire drains points. Oh, shoot. Uh, I guess I'll just rely on my specialist this round. I kind of want to keep as many points as possible. All right, yeah. I can do like a two for one. I can level up my specialist as well as, you know, not lose my points because I'm shooting uh, bullets. I think anytime I have a little bit of free time, I need to go and actually set myself up for success. Meaning, oh yeah, I forgot all buys are disabled. Okay, yeah. I was gonna buy a perk, but hold up. Kill the dude first and then dying wish. There we go. Obtain two items from the mystery box. Players are randomly teleported. Okay, I don't care. Just give me something good. Please don't teleport me. Got it. 
Oh, and there we go. Just in the nick of time. By the way, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I've never tried to do this hard gauntlet before in my life. So that's why I'm just assuming that I'm not going to be ready for success here. I'm honestly kind of happy that I'm on round nine with only one skull. Like having, a sc having one skull on round nine in all reality is pretty bad. But for my needs, I'll take it. No! I missed out on the full power drop. You know, what I should do is... Oh. I should do... Oh, I didn't mean to do... I didn't mean that in the round. No. What is this? Defend cargo hold while flooded. Friendly fire enabled. Perks caused blurred vision. What? I, I have to play the round with a blurry screen? And these dudes are going to be shooting at me? Oh, no. This is not doable. Why are they shoot... Are they shooting at me? Or are they shooting the zombies? Come on. Yes, I made it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, and I... I all the dudes are dead. Oh my god, they all died. I killed them all by accident. I think that's a good thing though, because would they have shot at me or what? I might have forgot that I had to hold down a specific area and I was just kind of hanging out. And then I, like all of a sudden, I'm like, oh shit, I got to make it. Um, I don't know if those bots were here to help me or here to shoot at me. Oh my god. Ow. I got to rely on wraith fires. Dude, my vision is so blurred. I literally can't see shit. Oh god. I don't know what's happening. Am I winning? Uh, I'm dead here. Oh, I'm not dead. I really wish you could pull your shield out while you're underwater. Dude, being underwater while vision blurry. I like, this is obnoxious. We got it though. Not too bad. Open all doors in the map within time limit, then complete the round. I mean, how many doors could I possibly have left? Can't be that many. Three more doors. Oh no. I only have 60 seconds. Uh, I know this is one of them. Where, what are the other two? Oh, oh yeah. I, I guess I never opened this one. Uh, I'm panicking. I don't know where the last door is. Oh, I think I know where it's at. Is it this one? I haven't opened this one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we got it. Okay, I really need to take the time out of my day to turn on pack a punch. There's the last one. Um, I don't think I pack a punch yet though. Actually, yeah, I will pack a punch. I have a lot of points. Didn't realize how many points I I was gonna have at the end of the. Yeah, okay, we're good. We got pack a punch gun, and then I'm grabbing yo kick mainly for the speed cola effect and not the actual third gun. Although that third gun might be useful later. Oh, bro, he's on my head. Oh my god, dude, what? Oh my, oh, dude, if I would have took it down like that or even used my dying wish, that would have sucked. I guess extra zombies spawn in on this round because the regular challenge is, you know, open all the doors like without the time limit. So they must spawn in just extra zombies, which is good for me because it means I can get my points way, way up. Oh, I'll take those. I think it'd be a financially responsible decision to waste all the points I just got. Oh, okay. That's why. That's why. I was going to waste them all in the box until I get the Kraken. Survive a wave of crawling dead. Players can only attack while prone. That's actually unfortunate because you can't go prone with the Kraken. You know, I'm going to use these homunculus I just got. To make this easier. Except they're all crawlers. This is, this is weird. This challenge makes me feel dirty. Do you think they washed the floors of the Titanic like all the way out here? Like, no way. Like, just think about how much bacteria are, are probably on these floors. Possess repacked weapon by the end of the round. That's perfect for me. Got it right there. Okay, the crack and puffed. We're good to go. Points drain the slower you move. What? Oh, oh, oh. I, I read that backwards. I was like, oh, I got to stand still. No, nah, I got to run around. Good thing I have super stamina up. I could literally just sprint around and slap these fools with my Kraken. The Kraken is such an odd wonder weapon. The more and more I use it, I think the more and more I like how it feels. It's not overpowered by any means. Is it one of the best wonder weapons in zombies history? Absolutely not. But it's definitely pretty cool. Completely rolls the zombies if they're right in front of you. What is this? Perks, elixirs, Packed weapons, health regen, special weapons, and HUD are all disabled. What? The Kraken counts as that? Oh, packed. Oh, it's all packed weapons. Oh, no. I'm getting hit as well. Perks, elixirs, packed weapons, health regen, special weapon, and HUD. So I literally just have an assault rifle. I don't even, I don't even get hit markers. I can't even like tell what's happening. This is not fun. I am not a fan of feeling this naked. Dude, I'm like 50. I'm probably like one hit. This is actually the hardest part. Like, there's no way to do this. I deeply, deeply regret pack a bunching the crack, and that's all I have to say about this matter. I've never focused this hard on anything. I'm dead. Oh my god! We're good, we're good, we're good. We got this, we got this, we got this. Don't hit me, please. Dude! I have to be one hit now. There's no way I'm not one HP. Oh my god. Please. This guy this guy's gotta die. Die. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. He's not dead. Is he dead? Oh no, dude. He oh my god. You never realize how much HP this dude has. He's dead. He's dead. I think shield's the move. 
Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, that's so hard. Um, I'm really I think I'm low on ammo. I have to just I have to just get a good gun. Of course, Teddy Bear. He's gotta die. I think I can do this if I just like stay up in this area, up on the poop deck. Actually, is this the end of the round? It might be the end of the round. Am I done? Let's go, dude. Okay. I'm at two skulls and run round 15. Defend the poop deck, walking, running, or sprinting damages players. Um, let me hurry up and get there. Okay. Uh, oh no. Don't tell me I gotta go. I actually gotta be down here. Is this the- Oh, dude. I thought- I gotta stand still. I'm one. Dude, I didn't- I thought those lines were telling me to go in there. I'm so dumb for that. I gotta stand still over here. This is probably it. Stand still, stand still. I need a new shield. Give me this. Oh my god. Most insane full power of my life. I was confused. I always thought the poop deck was up there. And then when it wasn't up there, I saw those blue lines. And I thought that, like, that's where I needed to go. Oh, my God. It's fine. All I used was Dying Wish there. Use the SX model. Oh, dude. Only Zombies only appear while firing. What does zombies only appear while firing? Are they invisible? Wait, are the zombies invisible? Unfortunately, I, like, I'm doing this blind. So I, I didn't know the SX challenge was coming. I've done the regular Voyage Gauntlet before. And it has, like, multiple sx one so i probably should have known unfortunately i kind of forgot and oh my god i'm dead oh my god that's so all right i got all the way back to the same round this time i only have one skull though so hopefully this goes a little bit better unfortunately though i've put myself in the exact same terrible situation and i don't have very high hopes oh dude this round is so hard the, the zombies only appear if i shoot so it's very very hard to play the game when you don't know where the enemies are this is my last attempt i literally do not care if i don't make it a single extra round like, like what? How, how do I deal with that? How do I deal with that? I don't. That's the answer. I don't. I got a pat. I don't, I don't know. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I literally can't shoot or do anything. Um... Okay, cool. Nice. And I lost all of my points. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. I guess I'll just use an unpack a punch SX because I do not have the time or the capability to go and pack a punch it. Somehow I killed something. I, I'm literally just shooting just so I can see. Dude, this is the most frightening thing. Ow. This challenge might be the single hardest challenge I've ever done in my life. I, I'm oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna just keep shooting. I'm gonna just keep shooting non-stop so that way I can actually see what's happening. Oh no, I missed ammo. I missed the ammo. No way that's how I go down. I gotta shoot. Oh, there's so many zombies. I'm not gonna try this again anytime soon until I learn like a viable strategy to do every single round. Thank you guys for watching.